Hello my lovelies, I'm back with another video and this time it's one that you guys normally like as it's kind of like a new in type of video. So recently before my trips to Italy, I think before my trip to Rome, I shopped a little bit on mytheresa.com and I thought it would be quite cute if I showed you what I got because I've got quite a few nice summary pieces and wanted to kind of show you more and more but because you guys have got really really good eye many of you have spotted the new things in my wardrobe and were like okay Tamara we want to see these in a haul so I decided to make this whole video especially for you guys who have asked so I'm gonna go straight into probably a favorite thing that I got and something that I already wore numerous times and it is actually this Fendi Can I bag now if you guys know me, you know how much I love Fendi. I've always been a fan of the brand and I'm lucky enough to work with them. However, this bag I purchased. So Can I comes in several different sizes and if you check out my blog, you can also see me wear a smaller version, which is in kind of like metallic, like a silver, silver, smaller embellished one and you can kind of see how I styled it. However, um, that was just a sample that I borrowed from Fendi for shooting and um, like to attend some events I basically wore a bag and then I returned it but then I really really wanted one of my own when I gave it a little test ride and ended up buying this bigger size Can I bag in a grey colour with silver hardware and some of these like kind of studs. Additionally on my Teresa, I'll tell you right away, I bought this little, what is it called, shoulder strap, yeah, shoulder strap, which is in very recognizable Fendi flower applique, sorry, it's full of my hairs because it basically like rips half of my hair if I'm wearing my hair down, which is not a plus, but still love it so much, and actually I only wear it with this strap. This flower applique shoulder strap comes in so many different colors, prints, shades, materials and things that you can always find whatever you want. But I really, really love the combination of kind of blue and gray. I think this is so cute. This only also comes in kind of like orangey coral color. Um, they're like exact same one and I really like that too. I couldn't decide but I ended up getting it in blue because I think it goes so well with jeans. Something you should know about this bag is that it's smooth leather and this is what it looks like on the side. It's actually quite full because I've been wearing it quite a lot and I wore it a lot during the Couture Week or Couture Week in Paris. It also has a top handle as such and the strap is sold separately basically as I kind of briefly mentioned I think but I will link some of my favorite straps below as everything else that I mentioned in this haul. Um, the top handle you can kind of remove and you can also attach a different type of top handle because they also sell separate top handles but I quite like this one, I like it simple and normally I tuck in the silver chain inside. What I also love about handy bags basically you can embellish them until like the bag looks completely different. I really like that they always come with these little hooks so you can attach your like monsters and furry things. Basically you're supposed to attach the strap at the back and then the furry things, monsters, letters, whatever you want at the front but I didn't do it that way because I was in a rush. So yeah, this is it. This is my new Fendi Can I bag. It kind of looks white on camera but it's light, light, light grey. I love it. It's so versatile. I wore it a lot in Positano in Rome and it fits a ton. It's actually quite busy in here, um, but I'm not gonna do like, I've got basically like my passport, my other phone, lens, lip balm, receipts from shopping, my new sunglasses, wait you have to see these, I'm sorry I'm procrastinating now, I know and I'm chatting too much, I just love these Dior babies, look how stunning. I don't know if you can tell, but they basically have like a lot of um, stuff on the glasses and I had so many compliments to these and people even asked me if they can try them on because um, they were curious how you can see through this glass, but you can and I think they're pretty cool. So yeah, this bag has a middle compartment as you can see, has a back pocket and yeah, I love it. It's very messy at the moment, I apologize about that. but. That's basically my middle name, Messi. Ask my sister if you don't believe me. So while I was shopping, I kind of 
was as always checking out Dolce and Gabbana section. You guys know how much I love the brand, how much every single collection feels like, I don't know, like I could live in it. And the truth being told is that I've actually worn these pieces a lot already. I got three Dolce and Gabbana items and I honestly cannot say which one's my favorite. So you guys know that uh, Hydrangea or Hortensia print is my favorite. Well, one of my favorites. So I decided to get a dress in the print. I already have a bathing suit, two pairs of shoes, and several other things. And of course the dress. This is just like a simple A-line mini dress. I'll try and try on everything, I guess. It's kind of late and I travel in the morning, but I'll still do it for you. I will try uh, all of these pieces so you can see what they look like on. I just love this print and um, it's so easy to wear. So I wore it several times already and a blog post with this is actually coming very soon. So you guys will be able to see it. The way I would style this would be with like a light blue or a pink bag because I think that's what complements the best, but also like maybe a green bag could look quite cute but that's a bit too much green for me so yeah really really love it it's just a very easy dress that you throw in a suitcase it's like jacardi material so it's just very easy to wear and doesn't get so scruffy and you know since i'm showing you dolce i'll show you the other dolce and gabbana dress that you've probably already seen on my instagram because well actually you've probably seen this one on my instagram as well and if not, you, it means that you probably missed out a lot of posts on my Instagram, so go and check it out. It's just at Tamara. Anyway, the other dress that I got is the one that I wore in Rome at Piazza Venezia. And it is a beautiful Maiolica print. And it is A-line, it's kind of a midi dress with this absolutely stunning print. This is the kind of like um, ceramic step print in Sicily in this particular place. And every single step has a different print and that's what's inspired this collection. So this, like, throughout the Mialica uh, collection you will find different prints and different, like, I think like three or four um, prints that Dolce & Gabbana have adopted. And I absolutely love, this is my favorite because I love these kind of colors where there's more blue, yellow and pink rather than green. And yeah. This is simply stunning. It has buttons all along the center and it's kind of like stitched a little bit in waist, which is, of course, flattering. Again, if you guys have been following me for a while, you probably know that I'm a huge, huge fan of Dolce & Gabbana Sicily bag. I got another one and I got it because of the very, very spectacular color. Now, this is like a light purplish pink um, Sicily bag. So inside this bag has got a shoulder strap as always. It has the authenticity card and a mirror. All the Sicily bags have a little mirror and so does this one that lives at the back. It's got like a leopard print inside. Can you kind of see it? It's leopard print. It's a small size and I love this bag so 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 much. It's basically like a medium, is this medium? No, this is small. So there's one smaller, which is micro, then there's medium, and there's large, I think. I'm thinking of getting another medium one. These bags are just so easy. They're like, the leather is so easy as well because it doesn't get scratched. They don't get misshaped. They're just so easy to wear. So I'm thinking of getting another one because they're just like so easy to wear and they're actually a lot less expensive than most. I think this one is less than thousand pounds, which for a designer bag, it's pretty rare, so I really, really like it, and I love wearing this particular color with this. Look at that. How nice is that? Okay, so I'm gonna stop talking to you about Dolce now and show you a pair of boots that I got um, as well on my Theresa.com. So this is nothing new, really. It's just a classic Chloe Susanna boot in beige color with golden hardware. The thing is, though, I rarely see this pinky beige uh, leather anywhere. I don't think I've ever seen them online or anyone wear it. Usually I see them black with gold hardware or black with gray, uh, silver hardware or I saw them in gray or in red but I have not seen them in this color and I think this is just going to be so useful for me in... Um, yes, I do have two feet. 
I know you guys always comment on that. Um, I rarely ever see them in this color and I already wore them as you can see when I was traveling. I got them in 39 and a half and they fit fine. Usually I'm in between 39 and 40 but I do think they're made a little bit bigger. So if you half a size bigger I would just go half a size down um, when you're buying them. I absolutely love them. They are a bit heavy but they're very comfortable and um, they will be perfect for autumn. I love also styling them with dresses. But at the moment in Europe, it's way too hot to wear boots, so they're still sitting pretty on the shelf. But you know, I just had to buy them. Last thing that I would really love to show you guys is this Zimmerman jumpsuit that you could see in my, um, in my Rome vlog. So I guess it's not really a lot of new stuff and stuff that you haven't seen. But since you really wanted to see this haul, I thought I'd dedicate a video to these items so this jumpsuit is obviously like it's a silk jumpsuit and it's beautifully made what I love especially about it is that you can kind of like super button it up and make it like very well smarter and closed or you can open it and have it a bit like more like beach sexy but tasteful sexy vibe um, it's not like very cleavagey and tight it's more like loose and cute and then if you tie this thing up here I'll show you when I try it on it's still quite cute and fun and frilly so I really really love this piece, I love the colors, I love wearing it with my Chloe Nile bag and I think it's a beautiful jumpsuit that just works with everything which is why I think it should come with me to my next trip tomorrow morning. Um, yeah, I think that is it for in terms of like designer stuff that I purchased recently. I actually made another order for some like more kind of like fall things that are um, dropping in and stuff like that, but I'll show you that probably after my next few videos. Um, the top you might be wondering about, I will link it below, I just got it online, it's quite inexpensive and I really like it because I think it's perfect for these next few summer days. So that is about it. I think in terms of shopping recently you've probably also seen the flats that I got at Dolce and I love them so much. Hortensia print again. I feel I have a huge weakness for Dolce and for Hortensia print, so you can't even blame me, right? Um, but yeah, that is basically it with all the things that I've recently bought. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you very, very soon in one of my next videos. Leave a comment below what you'd like to see. I always read them and I try to reply to as many as I can, and I really appreciate every single comment. So thank you guys so much. I hope I'll see you soon. I'm planning a lot of new trips and I'll be editing those vlogs because I have so 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 many right now on my computer. But yeah, that's it. See you guys soon. Bye!